YouTubies. How's it going? Welcome back for another mental health update. This is the third time I'm trying to start this video. <sighs> My mind is so jumbled and chaotic right now that I feel like a crazed squirrel up there in my head <laughs> you know how it is when you you're, you got so many things on your mind that you your mind is just like going all different directions that's what I am right now so I apologize in advance if the brain and the mouth do not cooperate real well and the the topics that I talk about are like all over the board I'm going to try to keep them in a somewhat chronological order of how I want to say things, but I'm just giving you warning <laughs> that um, I'm like a squirrel today. So, anywho, I don't know how long this video is going to go because I do have a lot that I want to say, so it may or may not be a part one and then another one part two. I don't know yet, but um, well, we shall see. But, um, first of all, I want to thank all of you when I did a poll recently um, to get you guys' views on whether I should continue doing my mental health videos and being honest with you guys about Anthony and I's mental health, our physical health, you know, whatever's going on in our lives, and be honest with, with whatever's going on, good and bad, and ugly. Or... Um, also, a lot of you that were in the poll that think I should not do my mental health videos and tell all. So, I want to thank all of you for p participating in the poll. I'm going to say that to begin with. Um, those of you that are against me doing my videos, my mental health videos. I thank you for being honest with me and at least participating. And I want to say it. I had this just thought this out in my head how I want to say it. Oh. I want to thank you. But I'm probably going to continue doing my mental health videos. So if it's something you're not interested in, I totally get it. I'm okay with it. If you need to click away and watch another one of our videos or somebody else's videos, that's okay. I mean, as far as our videos, I got over 800 videos. So I'm sure there's something in there you could find that would be more something you'd be interested in. You know, mukbang or something like that. I got quite a few videos. So, but yeah, like I said, if it's not something you're interested in, I'm okay if you click away. But, um... Those of you that said yes, that you think I should be honest, I thank you. The biggest majority of you were in favor of me continuing to be honest, <clears throat> which that's why I'm going to continue doing them. Because I cannot see myself or Anthony not being honest with you guys as our viewers. To me, being honest with you guys as our viewers is very important to me. I know we're not the biggest channel, I know we're not the best channel, you know, as far as mukbangs or mental health updates or anything on our channel, but we try to be honest with and real about how things are going in our lives. We're human. Um, I can't be like some of these YouTubers or TikTokers or people on any social media platform that try to act and pretend that they have perfect lives and that they're have nothing going wrong and everything is just peachy perfect I can't do that our lives are a little unperfect because of issues with this or that or the other so if I like I said in the um, poll if I don't post for a little while some of you have sent me DMs on Instagram asking what's wrong, why I'm not, I'm not posting, is everything okay? Which I thank you guys immensely for checking up on me. 
that means the world to me. Thank you. Um, but if I do post, you guys are going to see my issues with my body picking. It, it looks worse than what it is right now because I'm out here in the humidity and I don't have any calamine lotion on it. So it looks worse than what it is. But since I've actually started doing the visualization, you know, the... Wait, oh caught. Oh, I can't think of the word. Role playing. Pretending. Like a, like a child. Bringing out my inner child and pretending that I'm a dragon and that I need my scales, which is my, my another word for my flaws. These are part of my flaws, as well as all my imperfections throughout my entire life. I need all of my flaws to be able to have my scales to fly. I know it sounds weird to some. I, we pretend as children. So why can't we pretend as adults too? If we're not hurting anybody and if it's, you know, we're keeping it to ourselves, why can't we pretend? And this pretending has been helping me so much. Oh my gosh. I've been thinking I've been doing the body picking for about a year. No. I got to looking just last night, the other night. Not sure which it was. I think it might have been the other night. I get my timelines on things mixed up sometimes because of issues. But um, it's not been only a little over a year. It's been two years since I've been picking. I got looking up on some old conversations I had with that person that I was talking to that brought back all the memories of things that had happened to me 23 years ago. So I found out that it's been about two years. It's like, wow, I didn't realize it had been that long. But, um, lost my train of thought again. I need to eat something a little bit. I'm betting that's part of it. I need, I oftentimes, one of my issues is I have an eating disorder and oftentimes I don't eat enough. It's another one of my mental health issues is eating disorder. I'm getting off topic. See what I mean? I'm squirreling. Okay, breathe, Vicky, breathe. Okay, I'm trying to calm myself and. God, what I'm saying. But yeah, I realized that it's been longer than I thought it was since I started all this. But since I've started the pretending to be a dragon. I know it sounds weird, but hey, when we were kids, we pretended we were G.I. Joe or Barbie and or Mommy and Daddy and you know all kinds of stuff like that. Superman, Batman. Why can't I pretend that I'm a dragon? Because I love dragons. So since I've started this pretending, I still have a lot of owies because since I'm pre-diabetic slash diabetic, I'm thinking I'm more on the diabetic range now since I've been, other than today, eating more. I heal so much slower than I used to. So it's going to take me a, quite a while to heal up. But I'm making progress. I can actually f visually see the progress I'm making now in some spots. It looks worse than what it is right now because I'm at, I don't have anything, any calamine lotion on it to help lighten the spots and I'm out here in this humidity. So all the sores look more inflamed than what they actually are. So, but yeah. Um, what time is it? Okay, I'm in nine minutes. It, okay. So I got a little bit of time. I'm trying to do this quickly so I don't have to do a two-parter. But, um, yeah, that's the biggest gist of it at the beginning. I want to say thank you to all of you guys that participated in that poll. I'm so nervous about doing that poll. I was so nervous the whole bunch of you were going to... Because the last option was that I should just give up doing YouTube. Oh, the cat's playing at the door. 
the last option was that I should just give up doing YouTube. I was so afraid that a big majority of, not all of you, were going to say that <clears throat> I should just give up doing YouTube. And I really didn't want to do that. I love doing YouTube. I know we are not the biggest YouTuber channel. We are not the best. Um, trying to do better. I'm working on it. Since I've actually been starting to feel somewhat better, both mentally and physically. Some days, at least. It's, it's a give or take on that. <laughs> but um, I still sleep a lot like a cat. Even when I don't take medication. Like yesterday, I slept all day without medication. But, um, yeah, because I really did not want to give up doing YouTube. I like doing YouTube because, for one, I get to try out new foods that I've never tried before. Try new foods, or try foods that I've ate before that wanted to share with you. Um, uh, what was it? I've made a lot of friends and got to know some of you, you know, through our, what do you call it? The comments, as well as a lot of you have sent DMs occasionally on um, Instagram. So I'm having a little time keeping my mind focused. But, um, so I made a lot of friends and acquaintances, and in me it's a fun hobby. I, it gives me something to do, it gives me a motivation to get up out of bed, which I'm working on doing more, and, you know, do videos, have fun with it. So, I didn't want to give that up, so thank you. It, it's me, it's a fun hobby, but nothing else. We, we don't make much money on this. I don't care about making a whole lot of money. If we make a little bit, then cool. I w sometimes wish we could make more, but, you know, because we're not, we're not like a lot of these big channels that make tons of money. Usually we make anywhere from 10 to 30, if lucky. <laughs> so, it's enough to pay for at least one meal, <laughs> usually. <laughs> so, I mean, I would love to make a little bit more, but that's not what I do this for so but um so yeah thank you so what does it say oh yeah it was the about the I'm glad you guys didn't say no to me um just quitting YouTube man I'm having a hard time today I definitely need to go eat in a little bit, a little bit. okay um let's see One person recently had commented about, right? I can't believe she talks about how many times she's gone for therapy and sees the doctor and they haven't admitted her. She definitely needs mental help. Really? Are you sure? <laughs> That's the whole point of me going to therapy. <sighs> so I responded back. Okay, that one's partly um, cut off. I let them know I'm getting mental help. That's the whole point of going to a therapist and a doctor. They admit you, they admit you or commit you, however you want to say it, if you're suicidal. Not for body picking. Hello. And the thing is, this person that was dissing me so much she goes by the um id of m and m i think it said and she has a picture of her of herself you know profile picture of marilyn monroe hello marilyn monroe i don't know everything about her but i do know that she had mental health issues had she been able to talk about her mental issues or get help professional help Maybe she would still be alive, or at least a lot, lot longer than what she was. So, just saying. But yeah, they don't admit you for body picking. If so, I'd be in there <laughs> quite a while back. Um, she also commented... Yeah, the shit show must go on. Part of my French, that's what she said. So I responded back with, which and 
I know a lot of people think that you know, if you have a troll, you should just block them. Normally, I don't block trolls because I believe in freedom of speech, and if they are trolls, I let people say what they want to say, and if it is, you know, if they are being negative Nancys, because I fear people are entitled to their freedom of speech, it's when they get downright nasty and mean and below the belt about things when I block them. But, and I respond back. I get snarky. I mean, I have a right to say, speak my opinion and my truth. So, that's what I was doing with this person. I was speaking my truth back to them. Like, hello. <laughs> so, um, so I wrote, sit back to her. Well, if our channel is such a shit show, that must, then you must like watching shit shows then, huh? At least on our channel, we keep things real and we don't try to pretend we have perfect lives like so many other YouTuber channels do. So think what you want. Whatevs. She wrote back, yeah, honey bunny, I don't watch, I don't watch nor am I subscribed to your channel. For whatever reason, you just popped up on my, popped up, and I clicked to see what you were about. That is all. I wasn't even commenting to you. She was commenting to somebody else. I was, but it was about me. So I had the right to comment back because it was about me. She goes, I wasn't even commenting to you. I was just commenting on someone else's comment. So yeah, there's no need for me to watch such nonsense. So I will not be back. So continue on. I just hope you don't rub off on any sweet, innocent children that may run across your, ch your page. I think some things like what you do to yourself should not be put on such platforms that children can watch. So yeah, hope you find the help you need. I hope, I hope you find the help you so do need. Okay, let me read my response and then I'll, let me finish this up and then I'll, the sun's getting bright here. The sun's getting like brighter and brighter. Not being blinded by my whiteness. It sucks that I am so pale sometimes. I <laughs> blind people. Okay. Finish up. What time is it? Seventeen oh three. Okay. I responded. Well, for one, I'm not your honey bunny, so there's no need to call me one. And good. I'm so glad you won't be back. There's such. But that's such awesome news for me. Don't let the door hit you in the butt on the way out. And I guess people like you would just rather block anyone with mental issues up and away from society like they used to. Or for, like they used to then, huh? People like yourself is what is wrong with society today. With people wanting to be wanting to live fake lives, pretend everything is just fine and just peachy and not be honest with people. I hate to tell you, honey bunny, but if they still lock people away for the mental for mental issues, then potentially or probably over half, if not the entire population will be locked up in mental institutions. And if kids can, kids or adults come to my channel, then I'd like to, then I, then at least they will see that someone, wait, then they will see that someone is being honest about their health and mental issues and are at least seeking professional help for such issues and encouraging others to seek professional help for theirs as well. Sorry. It's hard to read because this sun is like very good and the screen is like getting black. It's like hard to see it. But hey, you just go ahead and hide your pretty little head under a rock and continue pretending that life is all rosy and perfect. 
I, on the ha other hand, won't be hiding my head under a rock anytime soon, and I will be fully honest with my viewers, opening up discussions about mental health issues and letting people know that they are not alone in their battles. So bye, good riddance to you. So yeah, that was it. But yeah, I, that person really got under my skin because, which I'm glad she's gone, because, you know, let me get a little better spot. Hang on here. The sun is like getting too bright right there. Okay, that's a little bit better. But yeah, we all have mental issues. We all have our own battles. And my working on my issues, my mental health issues, part of the reason I am actually making some progress is not only because I am seeking professional help with my therapist and my doctor, but I've also been looking at other YouTube channels and Instagram channels that are not only um, you call it, psychologists that talk on topics about what I um, have issues with or even other people that have been through mental or have been abused things like that and that have inspiring posts. So all that has helped me even more than when I'm seeking the professional help from my doctor and therapist. So I think we should talk about it. I think we should encourage each other. It's not like back in the old days where nobody talked about any of their problems. They just swept everything up underneath the rug, so to speak, and forgot about things. Which I have done for so many years. I've done the same thing. I will admit it. I've been in denial of all my problems that I've been through, all the abuse. And you know what? It's caught up with me. That is part of why the body picking has started because of being triggered. And that's why I have in past, or I'm actually doing better now, but in past had horrific nightmares and night terrors and anxiety and depression because I didn't talk about my problems. I tried to forget everything. But now, the last two, three years, it was three years ago this month, I was suicidal. But I knew that was not the way to go because it had been, how do I say it? Um, it had been the end of my problems, but that would have contributed problems to my family. You know, it would just make things worse. That would just spread the problems. I couldn't do that. So instead, I chose on my own, before I actually did the act of committing suicide, I chose to go and seek professional help and seek a therapist. And that's why I've been talking to him the last three years. And I'm glad I have. I'm glad I sought the help. Even today, he was actually compliment me on about how I have changed so much. I have so much more confidence than I did in myself than I did three years ago. When I first went into his office, I was um, extremely depressed, always looking down. Um, oftentimes, at home, I slept most of the time. I do sleep a lot, but it's because of the chronic fatigue now. But um, back then, it was mostly because of depression. And, and just all these things. So he was commenting, commenting and complimenting me on how much I have changed for the positive, in the you know positive ways. So I was like, wow, thank you. I haven't really hadn't until he mentioned it. Hadn't really fully realized how much I had changed. It's like wow. So I think we should talk about things. I mean, if it's something that's not interesting to you, you know the mental health updates then I get it. Click away and go about your day. But 
for those of you that are battling with your own mental issues, whatever they may be, or even your physical issues, like if you have fibro or whatever, who knows, maybe something I say can help or maybe encourage. I don't know. I, I don't know. You guys would have to tell me. You'd have to send me a DM on Instagram to let me know on that because I really don't know. I'm not a mind reader. But, um, what was I going to say? <laughs> God, what was I going to say again? <sighs> that is another one of my, my really big issues is I need to eat more because I do know it affects my brain and my thinking capacity. <sighs> I'm trying to do better on that, but I have eating issues because for so long when I was a kid in early, my early 20s, my dad used to always make fun of me about my weight and that has actually had a huge impact on my eating so I'm working on changing that so I know I don't need to that was in the past I don't need to stay in the past this is the present I'm working on changing my present and my future so um, I think that's pretty much all I had to say but um here soon I am wanting to do a video I'm wanting to do a video on all the self-care things I do for myself maybe inspire some of you to do things some of the things that I do or even similar or maybe you have ideas that I've not thought of you know I think talking about our mental health issues I think that opens a doorway to where we can communicate learn from each other, encourage each other, encourage each other to seek professional help. Um, you know, things like that. I think that is very important. This is not the way it was back in you know, the early 1900s and before that, where if you had uh, mental health issues, they just instantly locked you away. I have, I fully think that if I was born into that era, I would, and I've thought this many times, um, that I would be locked away into a mental health institute because of everything. I have no doubt. But thanks to modern times, we're able to change that and we need to progress in changing things for everybody. Um, there's something else I was going to say. I forgot what I was going to say. God, I say that a lot. See, at least I'm realizing that I do say that a lot. I'm trying to change my thought patterns and speech patterns, but I haven't quite got there yet. So, I'm learning a lot about myself last these last three years in particular. So, um, what was I was going to say? Oh, this one, last thing I was going to say was... Um, I've been watching a lot of, and particularly different YouTube channels of different psychologists that talk about narcissism, uh, verbal abuse, mental abuse, emotional abuse, you know, all these kinds of things. I've been watching them as well as YouTube or Instagram channels that are on those topics as well. Oh, I'm getting my head in. I definitely have to get something to eat could be the heat out here too but um or I need water I haven't drank much water today that's another one of my nasty habits I don't drink enough water I always reach for chocolate milk which has been raising my blood sugar levels bad me this coming month I've got to make some serious uh, life changes when it comes to my eating and drinking eating healthier so my occasionally have my carbs I'm a card junkie I just re realized recently that I don't really go for the sweets so much but I'm a carb junkie so but um wow I've got off topic <sighs> sorry what I was talking about was those channels that inspire me that give me information on how I can improve myself I think in the upcoming near future, I'm going to, little by little, 
talk about each channel individually and talk about the person that does the videos, how they inspire me, how they've helped me, you know, all these kinds of things, and they'll explain what kind of videos they have, and stuff like that. Let you know who, who they are, what, what channel they are, but also have in the comment section, or was it the description section, I should say, of what their channel name is, so that you guys can go and check them out if you so choose. And they might help you as well and inspire you. So I'm going to start doing that. So, and it would kind of be a, a little bit of a shout out to them. Because like I said, a lot of these channels that I follow, they've helped me a lot. I'll admit, I, it was originally because I went to my therapist. But I, I don't depend on just going to my therapist and thinking, okay, I'm good. I've had my therapy for the week. I don't need to do any more work on myself. I actually go that extra mile and try to seek out information from blogs, from YouTube channels, Instagram channels, all that kind of stuff, so that I can, um, how do you want to say it, actively work on my own issues. But oh my gosh, the last couple of years, see a lot. Let me finish up here. What time is it? No, oh, yeah. What? Oh, yeah, it's later than I thought it was. Okay. Oh, hush. Don't you be getting loud. Let me finish up this real quick. Um, for most of my life, I don't remember most of my life, as far as memories, good or bad, until recently. You shut your mouth. I love you. I love hearing you, but not right now, okay? <laughs> but, um, because of all the trauma that I've been through, and I've been through some pretty bad things, I'm actually, thank you, he actually moved on to another tree. <laughs> I've actually, um, been little by little remembering more memories, both good and bad. For the most part, I have, it's like I've had amnesia to most of my life. I can remember fragments of stuff, but for the most part, most of my life, I've until recently not remembered. But particularly these last couple weeks, oh my God. It's like, as I'm working on things more and more, more of those memories, good and bad, are just all coming forward. That's part of the reason I, I, I do have a little bit more damage on my arms today than I did the other night. It was doing so much better. I got in that thinking mode of all the stuff that was coming forward. And I just started pick, 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 because I was having anxiety and thinking about all those, the, particularly the bad things. But once I realized that I was picking, I stopped. I started pretending that I'm a dragon, put my lotion on, and proceeded with trying to do better. But, um, so yeah, a lot of memories are coming forward, which is cool. And I, I may not, there may be some things I may never recall. Maybe it was like too traumatic for me to remember. I don't know. I'm going to take what does come forward and work with it and move on with my life from there. So. I have a whole bunch more that I want to say, but I'm going to have to let you guys go now because it's getting longer than I thought. I didn't plan for this to get this long. Part of it would be better if I hadn't kept forgetting what I was saying. I get so fresh at myself, frustrated with myself on that sometimes. Anywho, uh, if you're new to our channel, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, and hit that notification bell. And if you guys are struggling with whatever you're struggling with, keep working on things it may your progress may not happen today may not happen tomorrow may not happen next week but keep working on it you're a work in progress you know, it, it some things take time this has taken me a lifetime to get to the point that i'm at now to finally work on things it may take that for you too it may not who knows but the point is Keep working on it. And if just baby steps. Doesn't 
your healing does not all have to happen in one day. So just keep that in mind. And if you're not seeking professional help, and if you're able to, then I highly recommend, young or old, whether you are a teenager or an adult or whatever, or in between, so whatever, I highly suggest you seek professional help if you're able to. I, because of Anthony and I's income, I personally am not able to afford to see a therapist right now. The therapist I see is under a grant. <clears throat> so I go to the doctor, my actual, since we're all in income, he's on um, Medicaid and Medicare. So his is taken care of. But because of our income, my doctor's visits is $25 per visit. But they have sent me to a, the therapist, let's see, what was it called? Um, as a referral. So because of it being a referral, um, it gets paid for by a grant through the doctor's office. So for me, it doesn't cost anything. So if you can't afford it, talk to your doctor about such things. See what it takes to find out about it, you know, and see if that is a possibility for you. If not, then, you know, maybe there's an app or something that you can, that has therapy options. Maybe that will work for you. I don't know. I've never actually tried any of those, so I don't, I can't say one way or another on those. Um, the point is, at least try to seek help. I'm sure the doctor can figure something out for you. If you let them know what's going on, let them know what's going on in your head. This is important. So, um, but yeah, if you're new to our channel, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, and hit that notification bell. And I wish you guys the best. I love you guys. Bye-bye.